previously on Mission Backup Earth. Welcome aboard the STC Nikola Tesla. We have to go for trans Neptune injection. Radio the Triton Station. Tell them we are on our way. Triton Station, do you read me? Captain, the station's not responding. Permission to return to the ship. Permission denied. We have a mission to complete. Carpenter, CEO of Space Tech. I've come to collect the prototype. And your proposed methods have proved extremely unstable. I have read your reports. And you know the first printed cells die. <laughs> Checking all systems, sir. She should be conscious. The scan show no sign of physical damage. Don't you find it odd that Brennigan knows nothing about her? He's in lunar eclipse. My patience is wearing thin. Give me my damage reports. He's lying. I don't trust them. Who? I love them. Look, the meteorite wave was severe. We've lost the living quarters, main warehouse, the labs. Not only that, our life support system has been seriously damaged. Can it be fixed? Negative. The computer sealed all the affected areas, here, here, and here. Fortunately, we still have control of the command center, airlocks, corridors one to four, and the medical bay. She's expired. Cause of death? Unknown. Plug it. Sol date, 78. Try and time, 1700. The gravity generator is out. It feels like I'm outside. Jeez, it's cold here. In two hours, we'll all look like Frosty the Snowman. So, in the meantime, is there something I can do to warm you up? No, Dr. Brennigan. I'm fine. Please, call me Gordon. I didn't catch your first name. Abigail? Abigail. Beautiful. Well, if you don't mind, Gordon, I would like to return back to the command center. Of course. Abigail. Sputnik moving directly over our position. Receiving images now. This looks really bad. But what of the Tesla? Lydia. I'm sorry, Abigail. At least the lander appears intact. I thought so. Well, then we'll just have to show you video footage that one of your probes shot about a decade ago. This is an unidentified flying object hitting our sun. The object was launched from the subsurface ocean from Jupiter's icy moon Europa, disguised as a fragment from a cryovolcanic eruption. And where did you get this information? We have our sources. I don't have to tell you that this information is classified. The company declares a formal protest. Rejected. This is a matter of solar system security. 
There have been rumors that Space Tech is also involved in a secret operation on the dwarf planet Sedna. Can you comment on that? The Stellarians have pure observer status. You have no right. Well, then I ask you, what are you doing on Sedna? Due to the time delay, we ask for more time for reflection and decision making. Have you heard of the essay titled The Great Filter and the Fermi Paradox by one J.D. Carpenter? Pretty fascinating theories. The Earth government is obliged to share all information with the mass administration immediately. I request an official investigation. <clears throat> you have no clearance as far as I know. This is a top secret company matter. Fine, then we'll have to vote on whether there will be an official investigation. I request that Mr. Carpenter, CEO of Space Tech, be summoned to the hearing. The company vetoes and refers to Section 7 of Paragraph 4 of the Solar Constitution. This is a private company matter, and any interference will be seen as an act of hostility, and legal action will be taken against. As you wish, then the Supreme Court will rule on the matter. situation. We need to evacuate. Can anybody hear us? Mayday, mayday. Something's very wrong. What about a time delay? Unlikely. Typically, the ether's full. You can expect eight-hour delay. What about the antenna? Checked it. There has to be a simple explanation. The system is fine. I've even run a relay through Sputnik to amplify the signal. You don't get it, do you? There is no one out there. You all need to see the bigger picture. Whilst you've been running around like chickens with your heads cut off, I've been conducting a spectral analysis. The waves have come in very specific rays. By my calculation, we're currently in, shall we say, a low tide. And pray tell, what does that mean? A tsunami comes. The giant has awoken. <laughs> this is a double act, right? Because it's laughable. What are you gonna do for a big finish, song? I haven't heard any proof. I haven't even seen a single fact. Facts. Computer, direct the star telescope toward the sun. Maximum magnitude. That can't be right. The sun was normal this morning. Remember, you're looking at the sun like it was more than 10 hours ago. This is not an optical illusion, but a reality. Life expectancy, 5 billion years, overtaken by events. The sun is pulsating megatons of radioactive rays into our solar system and is becoming red giants. Theoretically, it's possible there will be survivors. Most life, though, will be lost. So billions have already died? The antiquated notion that man seems somehow special, created by God, now seems somewhat foolish, don't you think? You cannot avoid your demise. We Stellarians are all that will remain. Due to gravitational changes, the orbits of our planets generally draw closer to our sun. Some go rogue. Triton will most likely move closer to Neptune, finally break in pieces. It's a pity we can't stay to see this. It should be a magnificent spectacle. Make no mistakes. The next big radiation wave will kill us all. Our only option is to go there. The Kuiper Belt. I agree. And how do you propose that, Captain? If you miss it the first time round, your spacecraft is powdered. We still have the lander. The lander range is limited to orbital flights. Computer, track STC Galaxy Class Freighter William Herschel. Show coordinates. Galaxy Class, on a route to Neptune. You think we can reach your ship? Yes.
is going to die guaranteed. He's Delarian. They can cope much better with radioactivity. So what about these Delarians, then? I mean, what do we really know about them? They've been around for about 120 years. Can we really trust them? Right now, you have to trust my pilot, because he's the only one that can prep the lander. Hmm. Well, my money's on the fact that he's going to run away. Giomi, come in. I knew it. You know what, Brennan? You really have a problem. Why don't you come up with something useful? I fell, but I'm okay. Everything looks good. Copy that. Well, now we have to find a way to get from here to the land. What about the hard suit? No, we've only got one, and it's far too bulky. It's gonna take you twice the time to get there. In that time, you're gonna fry. We need a solution in fast. Maybe I've got an idea. Just a few more meters. Okay. That's as close as I can get. Good news, the lander systems are intact. Bad news, there's just been a new meteorite alarm. We cannot risk staying here any longer. I've activated the emergency start sequence. You've got ten minutes. Okay, people. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Wait a minute. We've got one more problem. The cargo crawler only holds two people. And we can't make two trips in ten minutes. Cut off the countdown. We cannot make it in time. Break off the countdown. Can you read me? That is an order. I told you. So what do we do now, huh? Someone has to stay behind. Coming up on Mission Backup Earth. All right, boys. On this day five years ago, the United Earth Forces began Operation Space Freedom. I'm coming in. Jaomi, open up the hatch. I cannot abort the countdown. You must get out now. Who gets to play God? He's not staying behind. <laughs> 